How's it guys? <clears throat> Welcome to my channel. Pardon my voice. We were having a lot of fun yesterday <laughs> and uh, getting rowdy as it were. And my voice is almost gone. It's a little raspy, but that's neither here nor there. So today I am feeling very inspired. I love poetry. I write poetry myself. Um, I have since I was a teenager. That's something that I do to express myself and to say what I want to say in a poem. Um, anyway, <laughs> I digress. But um, I am totally inspired today and I really love this poet. He is on Instagram. You can... Um, check him out. His name is Bo Taplin, and this poem is called Unstoppable. <clears throat> Pardon me. You are unstoppable, not because you do not have failures or doubts, but because you continue on despite them. So I love that. So my whole thing, oh, we have a little bleed through. That's okay. So my whole thing is, is I wanted to, this is my bullet journal. In my Lloyd's term 1917, I just felt like it today, so I pulled this beauty out. And um, this isn't for any reason, it's just because I wanted to. Um, and let's just create, let's get going. So I pulled out these, the stamp set by Hero Arts. Um, does it have a name? It's a 4 by 6 clear stamp set, it's brand new, I just got it. This has been my first time using it. I don't see if it has a name, but um, it has the beautiful floral and monstera leaves and even a hibiscus and it has all different kinds of floral leaves and it even has a thank you, I think. A little thank you message. So it's off of um, scrapbook.com. I haven't even, I've done a haul on this, but I haven't posted it yet. Um, because I film way in advance things. So usually, but I'm just feeling inspired today. So I thought I would just stop in, pop in and share this little impromptu. How much fun is that? Spontane spontaneity, you know? Okay. So I have my coffee, coffee, drink, drink in this humongous, let's see if I can show you. Okay, my little watermelon thing made by Cool Gear. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond years ago. I got a couple of few years ago. So I can catch my caffeine buzz, as it were. <laughs> you know we're big on that around here. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, so I have um, some stays on ink as well. And let's do it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to play and hope. Hopefully it'll turn out pretty cool. You just never know. Okay. I love having this um, calendar in the backdrop on my desk. This desk calendar by Wrong Wrong because I can get as messy as I want. And all I have to do is flip it over to the next month, and it's gone. Yay! And, for that matter, I can cut out all these beauties that are all over. You can't really see, but there are some over here on this side. <clears throat> but anyway, okay, let's get stamping. Monstera leaves, these are called. Oh. oh lord, I've gotten a drip of water from my cup because I drink iced coffee in the summer. <clears throat> it's okay. Okay, so we're just going to go around and stamp all over. No rhyme or reason to it. Oh, that's not dark enough.
beautiful. And if I feel like coloring that in, I can, because this is like a permanent ink. And I put this to catch the excess, this little scratch paper. That seems to do the trick. Oh, I love these kinds of days. It's gorgeous outside that I can just freely create. This is it right here. <laughs> love it. Let's go over here. pretty the stamp is so just it's beautiful it's simple okay I'm gonna keep going Let's see what it's gonna let's just go for it you know you only live once if it doesn't turn out pretty that's okay it's just for me anyway for the last couple days we've been getting a little rowdy with the fireworks and you know I've been doing my well <laughs> a little too much there as it were so it seems <laughs> I'm definitely not a little teeny bopper anymore you know what I mean <laughs> it's all good feel like one but you know I think this will give me plenty of room to write my that um, poem and it's simple super simple I already like the way it looks personally. So you can also draw these if you want to. But the stamp works pretty darn good if you ask me. Okay, last one guys. Yeah. Okay, that's so pretty. Okay, so I pulled out a couple of Winkostellas. This one is 042 Glitter Dark Green. You can see that if it'll focus because of the white paper. I think it, like, camera gets a little funky. And then this one says GL Green 040. So one is dark and one is light, basically. So these are brand new. I better double that up. Let's see. I mean, I've had these for months, but I've been, this is the first time I'm using them. And there we go. Whoa, wow. That's like hot. I like it. So let's see. I'm not aiming for perfection here, just, um, oh, look at all that glitter, you guys. Just, I want to have fun and just do it. And if it turns out, cool. If it doesn't, cool. <laughs> so let's see. That's totally dark. 
All right, let's see what this lighter one looks like. Oh, that's pretty dark, too. But it's a lot lighter than the other one. Oh, that looks so pretty. I think every other one will do it like that. Hopefully it'll turn out pretty. It's fun to get messy, you know? You don't have to be perfect. Some semblance of coloring in the lines, but just let it flow, you know what I mean? There, that's better. I think I just had way too much ink from the pen on that. Oh, this is so pretty. You know, I've watched videos this past year, a while back now, on, um, what you call it, how to make glitter pens, because not everybody, these are kind of pricey, these pens, <clears throat> and like I said, they're new for me. I haven't used them before, so I don't know how long they last, but, um... And I always use a coupon, you know, but, um, still and yet everything adds up. So, um, but yeah, you can make your own glitter pens. So there's a bunch of tutorials on YouTube about that. If you're interested, like if you don't have access to these readily, and now I heard about these. These are not new pens for years. I just never got any until just last year. Somewhere in the fall, I think. I have a video from this haul on my channel. See, and I have I, I haven't even pushed it anymore. And I'm you bet your bottom dollar once I need to, I'm gonna dip into that. And use up all that ink. Is waste not why not beautiful yeah I think it was something like glycerin and glitter and like um, eyeshadow from the dollar store or something like that and incidentally you can use I have that glycerin because what you I use that for my facial stuff my self-care Sunday, which today is Sunday. Um, that's a whole nother video. Um, I do, since we're on that track, um, cause Tara Gay, I was watching part of her video. I caught it at the last, the end tail, and she was talking about her skincare routine. I think she was using Clinique. So she said, something and I told her oh come over you know she I live in Virginia she's all the way in Jersey and <laughs> so I'm like yeah come over I'll give you a facial because like I do my own facials at home and you know for my friends and whatnot just for fun um because that's how we would like to roll pampering but anyway yeah so I have a little steamer um isn't that what girlfriends do? I mean, that's what we do. Um, give each other facials, do each other's nails, whatever. You know. Um, but, yeah, I have my steamer and I have my setup. In fact, when my in-laws came, I gave them all facials. They were in awe. And I made them all facial kits. Um, when they decided to come visit here one year instead of going to London, because they usually like to go to London, 
um, that's their jam, but they did come here and they went to New York and all over the place. Anyway, so I made them all, fa all the girls facial kits. Let's see. One, two, three, f I made five facial kits. So, yeah. Those are my in-laws. So, you know, try to make them feel extra special. And they all liked it, so. But yeah, there's nothing like, I mean, you can go out and get a facial, yeah, of course. But it's just for me, I don't, I like doing that sort of thing myself. So I just do it right here in my studio. I have a whole little setup. And I have my steamer over that way, sitting by a huge <laughs> leather chair with an ottoman. So I can just like chillax as I steam and then do my masks and all the cleansing and all I do all the steps so um yeah but I digress so but oh yeah why did that come up right <laughs> so I have glycerin um because I like to use that to mix a lot of like different things like my masks and whatnot but you can also use glycerin for many things um you can extend the life of your Tombow markers or your Crayola markers. Here's a Tombow. <clears throat> so happen to have it right here. And yeah, so it comes in handy for a variety of different things. So it's relatively inexpensive. You can pick it up at Walmart. It's in the pharmacy section. But I think this is turning out so pretty, you guys. I sure am glad. I just, sometimes I just like to come up, my studio is upstairs, come up to my studio, sit on my desk, have a look-see around, and just see what I feel inspired by and what to do, and then I just go for it, you know? Sometimes it's watercolor. I love all sorts of mixed media things. I have a bunch of hauls from last year on my channel for mixed media supplies that I got. And I love using it, I think. This stamp was super light. Beautiful. I wasn't sure if I was going to do half the leaf off of the side of the page or what, but I think it turned out good. Hopefully this will end in the right way, having every other one, but if it doesn't, that's okay too. I think the Scream Summer Tropics. And if you can't get away for a vacation, this is a vacation right here in your book, you know, right in your boojo, because this is my bullet journal and I do use it. I just don't show it that often anymore. Oh, good. It turned out. I got lucky. That worked out nicely. <laughs> this is really a juicy marker, which is nice. So anyway, so you can just open this up. It twists right off and add some glycerin to it if it gets dry. And use the same pen to make your own. So you can add more glycerin and like eyeshadow or glitter or whatever it is that you have on hand. Um, I'm just dipping right into that. I'm going to have leftover. Woo! That was not my intention, but it just comes out so fast out of the marker. Once you squeeze it, woo, you better be ready. Look at all that glittery goodness, guys. I love poetry. I like writing. 
I like reflecting and then writing um, things out in poetry form as well as just writing. Okay, that's it. That's the last one. And I have so much left over. I might have to do another spread in my one of my planners um, using that. Because I don't want to waste it. Oh, I love it. This is still juicy and wet here. Okay. I'm going to set that to the side. Get the lid on that and that. Cool. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to... Like, for my ink, I like to keep them in baggies. All of my different ink. And then I just pull them out when I use them. Because I'm just afraid they're going to dry. And I don't want to waste my money. But I don't know if these are, like, the same way. So hopefully they won't dry out. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just write my poem right here. Look how pretty that turned out. Wow. That's so inspiring, don't you think? And you could use this for your, like, well, July has already begun. For your August, like your August cover page if you wanted to also. Okay, so I'm going to write this all the way across the top. Um, I think, well maybe not. I think I'll write it here and then put his name. I'll put his name and the title here. The title and his name. Um, and then over here I'll do the poem. I hope this is dry enough so I can lean on it. Okay, so I'll put the name of the poem right here. And by the way, this ink is so beautiful. It smells so good let's see what is it called i have it written down and the, by the way this is my twisby eco and turquoise extra fine nib and this is called the artisan pastier blue lagoon oceanic patissier scented ink so, Lagoon Blue Ocean is the name of this. It's beautiful. So, it smells so good. It just wafted up to my little nostrils. <laughs> anyway. Okay. You are... Unstoppable. Not because you do not have failures or doubt. but because you continue on despite them. By Bo Taplin. He writes such beautiful poetry. Seriously, you should follow him on Instagram for sure. 
Okay, guys, I think that is everything. I think that turned out lovely. I'm happy with it. Okay, and there you have it. Short and sweet. Unstoppable. You are unstoppable, not because you do not have failures or doubts, but because you continue on despite them. By Bo Taplin. Love this. This is a timeless message, and I hope it gives you guys some sort of inspiration and encouragement to keep on going. Okay, guys, thank you ever so kindly for watching. And if you like what you saw, I would appreciate a thumbs up, and I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel. And have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday, guys. Peace out.